Hi guys and welcome to another video which is gonna be about my favorite perfumes for my least favorite weather and I know that there is no such thing as an ugly weather however I think weather as perfume is very subjective and personal topic that's why I would like to know which kind of weather you like the most and you hate the most and which kind of perfumes you like to wear for your least favorite and maybe your favorite weather please comment all of that down below and if you enjoyed this idea for a video and you find it it is cool please like this video subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any other idea for a video please let me know in the comments and keep in mind that all the relevant information about perfumes that I will mention today is in the description box so check it out and let's get started and my least favorite weather is definitely when it is cold I mean like I am cold all the time all the time even in the summer so I personally would have no problem to live somewhere when it's summer all year long like California or Australia however I'm in Germany and the weather in here sucks pretty much weather changes and it's sort of like well balanced but it's never hot enough for me here so when it's cold when it's winter and maybe it's not necessarily a snowy winter maybe it's just like that sort of an ugly winter if you know what I'm talking about I personally love to wear something sweet because delicious perfumes make me feel very comfy let me know if they do that too for you and one of my most favorite Gourmand perfumes that I love to wear when the weather is not really right up my alley is Mmm, by Juliet has a gun. And to you guys, this bottle is a winner. This name is a winner. And um, this brand is a winner. And I remember when it came out, I was so intrigued because like, look how it looks and how it sounds. I mean, like, it's just, it's just like, right, a must have. But I tried it. I wasn't disappointed. And it was quite expensive. And I bought it from my hard-earned money I just started to work and I spent my whole salary on it and I don't regret that so it is a very sweet perfume and if you love gourmand fragrances you'll be obsessed if you don't like gourmand perfumes it's not gonna be your thing because it smells like sugary flowers it smells very sweet it smells gourmand it smells like candies and caramelized fruits so caramel in there is very prominent flowers are not too obvious on me it's rather like a powdery very mass appealing fragrance and it is right in between designer and niche so it smells enjoyable and a bit familiar but at the same time there is that mm, expensive uh, moment that is going on in there and the funniest thing is that it performs the best when it's cold it's quite a light perfume, but when the weather is cold, it is so like enveloping and round and warm and hugs you and it makes you feel all right and that everything is gonna be good and the winter is gonna end someday and the summer is gonna come. So, you know, if you want to eat a lot of sweets but you're afraid that uh, they will give you bad skin or extra weight, just wear this perfume, enjoy your life. And let's stay in that bad uh, winter weather condition. I'm not even sure what I'm talking about. And I need to tell you that when it's snowing and I want to feel really like that snowy air, like even when I'm home, I wear perfume from Marina Varsania that is called Patchouli Clouds. And you guys, this literally smells like snow. I'm not kidding. I've never thought that patchouli perfume would smell like snow to me, but apparently that's the thing that I associate with snow. And this is such an atmospheric perfume that goes so deep into your body that it even touches your soul. It's one of the most exquisite, one of the most impressive pleasant patchouli fragrances I've ever tried and I'm so happy and actually honored to wear this perfume and to have it in my collection. 
I bought it before Marina decided to stop making perfumes, even though it's such a pity because she won a lot of awards for her perfumes, even this one won an award, but she decided to focus on her studies. I believe she studies astronomy. She's very intelligent and funny. I met her in London one morning. We had chips and uh, fish, fish and chips, how you call it. And I mean, like, I find that she's so talented and this perfume is just my go-to when it's snowy. However, if you can't find it anywhere, please check out this Libertine fragrance um, that is called Fin de Soco. Not sure how to pronounce it, please excuse my French, but it's a bit similar to patchouli clouds because there are also some patchouli in there, but at the same time there is a lot of oak moss and even some spicy dirty rose so it smells like enchanting forest deep dark and dangerous but you still decide to go in and that's a very clever decision because this perfume stays long projects well and also has that atmospheric vibe and i prefer such atmospheric fragrances when it's snowy and when it is just cold i like something warm and something very pleasing and satisfying something gourmand and delicious and for the time when the weather is crazy it is in between the seasons maybe it's a transition from autumn into the winter or from winter into the spring and one day it's warm another day it's cold you don't know what to wear for that time I love Niue's Gucci fragrance Memoir Dodo. You guys, this bottle alone gives me such intense Christmas vibes, right? I mean, like, it's so pretty. And look at this box. If you want to make a cool Christmas gift, just buy this fragrance. You don't even have to wrap it. But be careful because I was so surprised that not everybody loves it and I kind of understand that because it's a very unique release. In my opinion, Gucci really killed it this year with their exclusive line, with this novelty. There is nothing, I'm telling you, nothing like this fragrance out there. Not from an indie, niche or designer brand. This fragrance is so special and uh, a lot of people call it strange and unpleasant and associate it with chamomile tea because chamomile is one of uh, the leading notes in here and other notes are jasmine, vanilla, woods, musk and uh, almonds but to me it smells like heady boozy process of making vodka because I associate it with rotten yeast and honey and believe it or not I am crazy about this perfume. I love it so very much. It is unisex, it's amazing and it's sort of a light fragrance. It creates a veil around you like a protective layer of a second skin and it's just perfect in between the season but also for the time when it is cold or when it is warm. It's just amazing, very satisfying and I blame vanilla and almond on the feel that it smells like alcohol to me but honestly I don't smell any chamomile or prominent um, tea moment in there even though I have really good notes and when I go to perfume exhibitions perfume experts like perfumers and brand owners they really compliment me on my nose because I can really guess a lot of notes but Gucci's Memo Dodo is very 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 special fragrance that is a mystery to me so with that being said you guys for the time when it is raining like hell and I hate rain especially when it's cold because that piercing frost is getting under the clothes and touches your body and then like Ooh. but when it's raining the best perfume to wear for me is Le Sillage Blanc by Dusita. This is the best vintage smelling green shipper ever. It's very strong, it's very 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 intense, it is a little bit smoky, it is dirty, it is sexy, it is a masterpiece if you will and I really really love it. it stays long and I love to wear it only when it's dark and only when when it's raining so I would definitely recommend you to check it out but maybe some of you hate heat I love heat but I'm aware that heat is very very annoying and for those super hot annoying days when you're sweaty and nothing works and you just want to smell fresh all day long I would recommend you I 
Sea Citrus <laughs> by Pana London. I have a full review on this bad boy, but it was developed with some special technology that provides you a cooling effect and it smells abstract, it smells woody, cold, citrusy, mentholy without smelling minty and it's sort of like you're rubbing an ice cube on your body. Very refreshing, great for hotter, maybe like humid climate and I'm completing this video with a perfume for windy weather. You know, sometimes wind can be ugly too, especially when it's cold, so, you know. And for that I love Kazemi, which is the best smoky, spicy rose I've ever smelled by the House of Matriarch. It is very strong, it's very unique, it smells a little bit mysterious and incense -y, and I just love when it is windy because uh, when the wind comes and I can smell it, oh, it's just amazing. Well, anyway, that completes this video, which I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know which of these fragrances you know, like, and which perfumes you like to wear for ugly weather in your personal opinion. I'm looking forward to chat with you. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned. Smell good. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!